Good evening, Titans. This is Mr. Sturtz. We are now on Lesson 7.8, um, which deals with factoring polynomials completely. So grab your student journal or wherever you take your notes, and let's get going. Uh, our core concept today is factor by grouping. Now, this is a little different type of grouping that we're going to use, especially when we have four terms in our polynomial. Um, by grouping, it's just kind of how it sounds. We're going to group two sets of parentheses together where we can factor a GCF out of that set of parentheses. Um, we also have factored completely, um, and we'll get into that as we get down the line here. But go ahead and write down those two vocabulary words in your notes, and we'll do a couple examples here. Okay, our first one here, it says factor each polynomial by grouping. Notice we have four terms this time instead of three. So we're always going to use our factor by grouping method. Okay, and really what we're going to do is we need to group two terms together that have a GCF. Okay, and it's addition, so we can rearrange things if we need to. Um, but on A right here, we can already go ahead and see that the, these first two terms, if we put parentheses around those, um, we can factor out an x squared out of that first term, out of that first set of parentheses. So let's go ahead and if we factor out an x squared, we're going to have just 1x left plus 3. Okay, now we look at our second set of parentheses. Keep our addition in there. What can we factor out of there? Well, we see we can factor a 2 out of both of those. So let's go ahead and do that. And again, we have an x plus 3 left in our parentheses. Okay, now we see that in each set of parentheses, we have the same exact thing. So really what we're going to actually do is almost factor that out again. Um, so what's ever in parentheses, we're going to write out front. Keep it in parentheses. Whatever we have left over now, if we factored out that x plus 3 out of both of those terms there, what we have left is an x squared, okay, because we factored out this x plus 3, it's gone, plus 2, okay, because we factored that x plus 3, we pulled it out front. Now what we have left is our... Um, our two sets there multiplied together, um, this is our factored form here. And that's our final answer. We can't factor x squared plus 2 any further, um, so we're done. Okay, let's try um, example B here. Let me clear this. Okay, now we look at those first two terms, x squared and y. We can't factor anything out of that, so what we really need to do is rearrange it. Um, it's an addition problem, so we know we can do that. Let's just go ahead um, and let's flip this x and y. Okay, so if we rewrite it, we have x squared plus x. We can we know we can factor an x out of those, plus our other two terms. If we have y plus xy, we know we can factor a y out of there. Okay, so let's go ahead and start factoring here. If we take an x out, we have an x plus 1 left. Plus, if we take a y out, we have a 1 plus x left. Okay, we've factored each two terms out now. In parentheses, they're not exactly the same, but remember, addition is commutative. We can switch things around. Okay, so really, we have x plus 1 in our parentheses. That's what we're looking for with grouping, and we're done. If we rewrite that, if we pull that x plus 1 out front, what we have left over is our x plus y, and we have our factored form, and we're finished. Okay, that's really, in general, that's how we factor by grouping.